What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to write off what happened last time, we had a fairly catastrophic attack against the French fleet. We did lots of damage but didn't do enough damage and our fleet itself was fairly well damaged. So we're going to bring them back to Syracuse for repairs. And I'd very much like to progress down the tech tree to build a heavier fleet for my main battle line. Yeah, reform naval administration, but the French are advancing, it looks like. So we can hit and turn and watch what they do. I mean, if, if, they, if they go into that port, I'm not going to let them... Oh, do I? No, no. Okay. Poor. They've gone to threaten the city. Let's see how they react to. Well, actually, they can't, can't really react to anything. Okie dokie, so. What do we want to do against the against the French? I mean, we're obviously going to eventually push up and attack them, but I'd like to just hold. Hold them off. So I could fortify it, but it's tempting. Do I fortify, do I build forts on my own territory, or do I just sit on the river in their territory and blast them as they cross over? Yep. Yeah. Our two buildings have been sabotaged. There is the French army. That's our garrison. Mm, I'd probably like a bit more of a garrison, really. In which case, then, Mr. Guy Como, you might be marching north to relieve the fort. Let's upgrade these to wine states, because I think that's the top tier building, and then they're built. Yeah, they if they put us if they assault us, I'll have a, I'll be fairly confident to be able to defend. Because most most of what they got is cavalry. Okay, we've got advanced irrigation now, so don't keep going down that track. Instead, go for national debt to help us reduce upkeep and improve town wealth. Good. So we've got church schools built in Bulgaria. But we are now at peace with most of the people on this front. I mean, we do have an op opening to hit Klausenberg, but it's not really a need to do that. Okay, so let's do do some more empire building. Just keep building. And then do I have I can got enough money to put some of my ships under repairs? Yeah, this army. What's it? Let's have a look at this. Oh, this is the damaged navy. Good. Okay. Three turns to reform naval architectures. Then we get to build. Oh god, here comes another French army. And they are attacking us at the capital. Let's do this. It's a good job I did move Gaiacomo north because you can see the French are sending another army which means I'll probably build an additional army to attack those islands because they are slightly lower priority. We don't really need um, you know they, they're just going to sit there slowly getting stronger and stronger but with crap troops. So Water's out front. Let's give them some bait. Get our infantry on the walls. Put file our calm citizenry to, to guard the rest of the walls. These men can act as a reserve. We do actually have a unit of howitzers. Carcass shot. 
they're out of range of carcass shot. I mean, you may as well do counter battery. Destroy my trailing teams. Look at them charging forward. They think they're going to kill my howitzers. Or by George, I think they might. Let's have a little bit of squash. I'm a fan of um, orange and mango, orange, man orange and mango, or orange, mango, pineapple, because just orange is a bit dull. I like the zing that mangoes and pineapple add. Yeah, do you have a lot of good cavalry? Not my mortars. Don't kill my mortars, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm going to try and push on in the same old style. Not doing much good against the. Uh, against the artillery, so let's go for this cavalry block. Probably with explosive shells. Yeah, there go my mortars. Got a cavalryman. Come on, lads. You go, Swiss Guard. You've not got what it takes. Seventeenth Regiment de la Sar. We've got grappling irons up. Yeah, we do. Some cavalry is slowly dying. Have our first men climbing the walls. The drummer boy's gone in first and he's missed it. section of the wall. Is that fighting Swiss line? Swiss line is very good. Militia is just enough to bulk out their attacks. Right, the 22nd is sat there waiting for their turn. Send them in. Send these guys in. My infantry's looking a bit thin. Thinner than I would like. Actually, carcass shot seems to be working. Those are some nice big chunks of cavalrymen dying. Good stuff. It's 
the enemy has a foothold on the flank. We're on right at the edge of this redoubt. But I fear it will not be enough. Many men are dying. Slaughtered by the gun, the bayonet, on our mighty flank. The French are broken on this side. You men are you ready? Pouring fire into him. The day team has had a bad time of it. There may be more militia to support the attack on this flank. Put my firelock arm citizenry here. So hoping they might be able to fire down to the bottom of the uh, the grappling irons. Kill a couple of gunnery crews. Destroy one of their artillerymen, artillery crews. Nope, these guys are firing into the backs of my own men. There's the officer in command of the defence of the wall. Terrible things we ask of men to do. And I was hitting N. I was, I was curious. I knew you could do it in Napoleon. I was wondering if you could do it in Empire as well. Turns out you can. <laughs> Trouble is though, because they're wearing re the Swiss Guard are wearing red and my militia are wearing red. Oh, my militia, my infantry are wearing red. It can be a bit tricky. But look at the dead on the ground. French trying to come back on this flank. But now I've found, now I've found that out, I'm just going to be doing it forever. Awesome. That's so damn cool. Yep, and they've had enough. Come on, you men. Go pick up the guns. So Swiss line are down to about a sixth of their starting number. Fourth Regiment of Militia cut in half. And the 55th are fresh. Well, fresh. There's full full strength. Okay, let's bring you guys up. So you're doing it as well. They're firing into this combat. Bring the 20th Regiment out, because they are almost dead. Well, if you want to do that, you may as well get up here ready. So the 24th are running to support this guy. Made it bind our lines. Not for long he didn't. No, he just... This guy just killed one of my men. Kill him, specifically. Charge! There we go, they're being pushed back to the parapets. Imagine me one of these guys. Okay, everyone. Let's go take this city. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of Italians. Everyone 
leave this last militia unit standing. We're all set back in this corner. Oh, artillery keeps firing. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit because we've had our fun. You lads get to the right to the back of the map. Cut them to pieces. Ready the guns once more. You men can even garrison this section of the wall. Hard fought with the blood of men. So on these guys, apart from they're gonna execute whoever remains. See if he makes it. Oh he did. But you pick up again. Keep firing your cannons because right now there isn't much else they can do, so I'm going to get my artillery to focus on hitting the gun team rather than the guys at the rear because misses. Actually, no, I may as well, <clears throat> I may as well aim for them because misses from the main guns will hit the cavalry as well. Like that, just drawing straight lines through their position. Well, they're aiming for the cavalry anyway. Watch the cavalry die. Well, I suspect what I'm probably going to do is cut the recording because I doubt anything interesting will happen because we're just going to shoot at them with artillery. Uh, there's a chance they might make a breach if we don't destroy their artillery in time. But then again, they're only 37% of the way through and they've only got one gun. And also, the artillery from the walls is actually doing a lot of damage. Unfortunately, not too much to the general yet. Yeah, this light cavalry is suffering. Ah, oh, they're so close. They're landing near, but they're not getting one bang on and destroying the gun. I mean, it is possible for me to sally out and form a line and see if I can trick them into coming at me, or just march towards them with my infantry and just keep dropping them into squares. they can't get in so we can try this to offer a uh, a token they might see that and think aha infantry eh especially most of them are pretty weak anyway so I suppose the idea is this is Well in doubt, just drop them into squares. And fire will on. Should have said that. Hey, they broke my square. That is easy as that. That's a swizz. Ah, they'll be back. It's probably artillery fire from the fort that did it. Gunfire from the walls. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Uh, 
they're not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, understandable. While the walls are just gonna smoke that cavalry unit. Hey, they're routing towards my square, that's handy. Fundamentally, I didn't just want to sit and plink at them with... Plink at them with, uh, damn cannons all game. But I think I might do now. Let's get you back. <laughs> oh, they're all routing. Anyway, good stuff. <laughs> Bit dodgy, but at least you've got the bank balance to f fix the damage. And we know we've got a turn before this big army comes down. Yeah, we, do, we really do need to grow our navy. I wonder, is the, was it best by building a fishing port in Bulgaria rather than another naval port? Shipyard. <laughs> it's an interesting question. I don't like normally having, I don't normally like having my shipyard so close to the front. But we never know. You guys get your strength back. These Grenadiers can march up to help bolster their forces. So you, Fre Frédéric Beauchamp. Loads of artillery, so they're definitely getting in. Okay, wineries. Okay. So let's spend some money on some infrastructure. Let's spend some money on repairing my ships. Let's add some more... actually let's add one fourth rate to the to the ticket and let's also upgrade some industry to help offset the expansion of the expansion of our armed forces. Non è possibile, signore. So that's all our grenadiers going up to the fort. See, a load of conscripts. Load of load of well, it's an interesting army, but not a greatly competitive or dangerous army. Two more turns till we get the next level of naval attacks. Yep, the French force is falling back. Ooh. French are coming down in strength now. It looks like that uh, I'll have to slowly up improve my tier in. Ooh, see, I don't like how the Ottomans are building up all these armies. If they do, I'm tempted to send an army straight across um, the Dardanelles and hit Ankara. That should that should cool them off a little bit if they lose one of their next largest cities. So the Swedes, have they made landfall onto the continent? They have. They've taken Hanover. Of course, the Mughals now own most of, well, not most, a good chunk of the Americas. So you haven't done much in the other theatres, but look at that. That's the Mughal Empire. Ottoman Empire, 13 colonies is still a thing. The Mughals have taken the French territories. God, the Mughals are... Damn. Which goes to show how much of an army the, more the Ottomans have. See? Okay, maybe it might be best to expand this naval port so I can add on some extra fifth-rate recruitment capacity. Due to a wine estate. Good. It's got one guy. Oh, he's aboard ship. Now, 
Here you go. Signore. <laughs> okay, get up to the river. Cross if you dare, Percival. Does mean these guys could get in and push back into my territory, but I've got a good garrison here in Naples now. Let's probably build another howitzer unit to send to the city. Spend some more money on things that make me money. Starting in Italy and looking outwards. Next turn, we'll build the next level naval building in Venice. Yeah, you can come in as much as you like. See, our army is a bit depleted, but I have I have faith that we can do this. As long as I don't do something stupid. Especially as we bought those grenadiers up. That's pretty handy. And I think you'd be curious to see what kind of garrison we got. Rather than the garrison troops that we had previously. Okay, yeah. Some of these units are pretty broken. But the rest of them are probably okay. So let's put... Make sure we get our grenadiers up on the walls. Mostly, anyway. I'm tempted to put Firelock Armed Citizenry up here, because I doubt those two units will be enough to garrison all of the walls themselves. Howitzers can be a bit further up. Some smaller units on the walls. And you guys can deal with the breach wherever they arise. Mortars out front. Fire carcass shot. Same with these guys as well, I suppose. First shot's coming in. Miss. Water shots coming in, they'll probably be a miss. Damn, so they've actually made a lot of progress in knocking down this section of the wall. Get the hell out of Dodge. The wall's going down. first breach. They may have two in not very long. Let's get our artillery to start doing attempting to do counter battery. There goes the Chasseur à Cheval. Not these guys in square formation. It's preempt. I don't know. Go back into regular formation. Is open up, open fire. So the round shot's going in against the artillery. Hey, I left loads of line infantry out here. God, I'm getting really bad at that. More garrison mortars, nope. You guys just be quiet. 
you'll kill my own men before you do anything useful. Okay, I'm throw my grenadiers down into the mix. Taking a position with the inner fire step, firing into the central courtyard. So they're going to try and storm Command HQ. Good, now my grenadiers are in the middle, disrupting their attacks. Are gonna, they're going to be the, the bait. Oh, well, really? Actually, I could probably get most of them back up here. God, the grenade just crack. They are coming. Oh, look at that guy! Skew it! Stab! Get out of there, grenadiers! Get back up the steps. Get out of dodge. God, Grandy, you do not give, you do not care one bit. Oop, someone's charging somewhere funny. Beautiful, we haven't had this in ages. It's not you guys, is it? What a pity. In come the French being slaughtered. Oh, it might be this combat in the uh, in the uh, building. That's probably who's doing it. Lovely fire. Chasseur or Cheval are probably going to try to go for the mortars, but I don't really care. Why are you wavering? Get involved in this combat with the uh, ideas. More men want to try take the command building. You may have it, sir, with sweat and blood. Just fire by rank, dudes. So I made them into this V-shape so I can ma back and maximise the firepower. If I put one unit here, they would be, you know, I could put out half as much firepower. Some of the artillery are actually picking up. They're actually picking up. Uh, well, also some of them anyway are uh, charging back to us. Will these guys pick their guns up again? Yeah, they will do. That's right. You men fall back. Someone kill this guy right here. Dreaming back, the cowards. Hey, these guys are trying to get up onto my wall. My grenadiers have more experience than you do. Oh, 
Huzzah! Swiss guard got someone. I think it was this guy. Can't. Oh, damn, someone's been shot at. Kill them. Come the chasseur à cheval. Capture that colour. That's the guy I want them to get. Nearly. No! Step. This guy's a machine. He just doesn't care. He just killed two guys on the truck. Oh. Poor guy. Present and open up on the chasseur I should run. Not a very nice volley, but alright, can't have everything I suppose. It's time to make a second breach. Someone take that colour. Got him. Uh, trigger for the foot card to unit. What we're going to do is to take positions up here to fire down onto this unit of line infantry guards. Probably speed up time. So I don't want them to stay here if they can't fire, because I don't want them just to take damage. Yeah. Because right now there's not a lot going on. Forty fourth Regiment. They're gonna have a pop at trying to get grappling irons up. But are they just going to abandon those and immediately go straight for the breach? Okay, let's pull my ground is right back. Let's see if I can get them to go through the breach. That's what I want. Comes the 47th. Ah, oh, how cute. They're going to throw fire at me through the breach. Officer up front. There goes the officer. Had enough of that. Ha <laughs> ha, the devils. Let's see if my mortars can drop any fire onto the eight foot guards. The houses are dropping some fairly accurate shots down onto the foot artillery, but I fear. Oh god, okay. Oh, damn it, too late. Oh, 
Let's just keep you out of the way. Put Get out, abandon the command HQ. I'm going to try and burn it down. This is triple speed time. Um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut the recording here because doesn't seem like anything's going to realistically happen. We're going to a bit of a shooting war with the eight foot guards if the gunnery works out right. Which it is, thankfully, but. Yeah, I'm going to cut the recording here and bring you guys back at the end. So, see you in a sec, everyone. Well, hurrah! There wasn't a need for a protracted attack. Uh, once we knocked their gun crews out, their cavalry ran away. So, the garrison of Turin have held on for another day. Too bad they've decided to not fall back to France. But that is why my... Well, I'm going to bring that army back from the French frontier. Russia's declared on me. Let's see who Sweden picks. They've not joined them, but they've not declared war on me. Hmm. So we're no longer allies. Still trading. It's an interesting position to be in. There's a definite exploitation route to attack um, through the Black Sea towards Crimea, maybe? That might be a good idea. Cut off the Russian trade. Naval architecture is good. First thing to do. Oh, we can't upgrade. What do we need? Reform naval administration. Oh. Okay, in which case you go for sauerkraut to reduce upkeep. And we can build the naval hospital, which gets us uh, first and second rates. Upgrade the building to a dry dock. Let's go up here. Set these guys to replenish. Um, hmm. It's frustrating. They could actually do some damage here. Unless we attempt to destroy them. Which we will attempt to do. Because most of their army is very low strength, we can actually kill lots of them with our cavalry. It's frustrating I have to pull that army back from the front, but I can't have a small French stack running around inside my territory. That's a lot of guns. Form up. Just form a grey line. Cavalry, get ready to be involved, as will my general. As my great battery opens up. A load of my foot artillery to focus on the Chasseur Cheval. Let my howitzers fire at will. Mark a shot onto my cavalry. I mean, I know a line like this is completely unnecessary, but. You outnumber the enemy this much. Necessary kind of goes out the window. Okay. 
Artillery's coming in. More lines of cavalry have been destroyed. Go on, man. This is going to be a beautiful slaughter. Credit to them though, they have stayed for longer than I thought they would. in you continue to chase down that gun crew you chase down this line infantry move my foot infantry up focus all my artillery on the chasseur cheval Careful actually, now all my artillery is, fo is focusing onto a combat, and my cavalry is already in. I think the enemy, has, enemy general has been killed. Let's just hold fire with the artillery for now completely. would be nice to kill but if we can kill the majority of their other units then they will just disappear into the ether. Okay, let's keep one tuner back. Absolutely continue. Hold fire, hold fire. Good stuff. It's a lovely victory for our forces in the field. Come on, man. Don't be silly. Oh, no, there's one guy spread out somewhere. There he is. Yeah, wasn't close. It was a evisceration. You men can have some money to, repel it, to uh, replenish your own costs. Garrison, that's going to be ready to move up to the new to uh, the Turin garrison to provide more artillery support. Let's upgrade the new trading port. Hmm. Ernesto Defendi. It may be time for Mr. Genovese go on a spoiling expedition and go and spoil the Russians a day. And let's pick up a bit of a garrison in Athens. Should certainly help. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to actually just keep converting all my populations to their 100%. 
Lots of wine estates, commercial ports have been built. Naval tech advancement, which we've already dealt with. Power that we've dealt with. And Gaikomo Mosca has become a better general. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian states. Cheers, everyone.